guys welcome back to our youtube channel in case this is your first time coming across my video kindly consider subscribing liking and clicking on the notification bell so that every time i post you're the first person to see my video and in case you're my returning viewer thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos you guys i don't know even how to appreciate but you guys support me you guys have really really supported me thank you thank you so much i am your girl harris anabo and we are live in katabi Entebbe. in case you don't know katabi Entebbe, i'll leave you the location down there but so i'm going to be taking you through my everyday morning routine come with me don't forget to subscribe click on that like button for me what are you waiting for smash that like button for me and Yes, I just told you we're in Katavi. It's a small village. It's a small village in Entebbe. And let me first take you around my small home here, you guys. And then after you join me in my everyday morning routine. We have a small garden here and we also have our plants, tomatoes. These are tomatoes here, I think. But right now they are still young. I think you can see it. So we have some small tomatoes here. This is our mini garden here at home. Then, then there is also uh, actually we have some of them that have really grown we have this check this out yeah we have this these are tomatoes but they are really really young i think there are some ones that there are those that are ready some of them are ready now like check out this one when it is ready it be like this but you can as well cook them and use them for sauce at home let me know how you call tomatoes in your language. First, we call it nyanya. Here, we call it nyanya in the central. Okay. Look at this. So this one has now grown. Eh? This one has now grown, but it is not yet ready. It's green, but it's in the process of getting ready. And if it gets ready, it will be red. If it gets ready, it be red. So those are our tomatoes. Let me know how you call this in your language. So this is our mini garden here and this this is where we plant our vegetables eh? so but we have also cassava here i think you can see and you see anything these leaves can also be used as sauce you can also cook them as sauce uh, here in africa we also have our pumpkins but they're not yet ready these are the pumpkin leaves but still they can also be used as sauce in our culture we use them as sauce too let me know how you call pumpkins in your language but here we call them ensuju. We also have some small banana plantations here, you guys. And by the way, today I'm going to do our local dish. Yeah, for lunch. I'm going to cook our local dish, the matoke. So don't miss out that video. And if you haven't, if you haven't seen my video that I did when I was showing you our African garden, the African garden tour, please go back and watch it, you guys. And don't forget to like. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe. There are also bananas, but not yet ready. An example of a banana is here. And this is also still young. This one. I think you can see. But it is not yet ready, so we are waiting for it to get ready and then we cook it in case, in case you're wondering this building this, this side this building we have our animals here we also rear animals we have our animals here but i'll give you a tour but today i'm just passing you through i'm just showing you how my village looks like here in the in katavi come with me and still we grow pumpkins we still have pumpkins we call the pumpkins ago but the leaves, eh? these leaves here, we call these leaves agobi. That is how you call it in Lugbara. Let me know how you call it in your language. Hope you're enjoying this video. Come with me. Okay, now this is lai. We also use it as we also use it as food here. Let me know how you call this. So you guys, that's how our mini home garden looks like hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give your girl a sweet comment let's get into the video the feeding trough for the cows and i, I think you can see come close there is water 
so the animals can as well come like the cows if you have goats they can as well come to graze but right now we don't have them around so i decided to also show you this feeding trap but mainly it's for the cows this is where they come and take their water if they want to graze there is also grass give, don't forget to give your girl a sweet comment so in my village we use cow dung to construct houses and we can also use it as a fertilizer oh, for our yeah, crops yeah, there's also a guava tree but there are no guavas there. but most of the time we come and take our guavas but now they haven't they are not yet ready check this out like this one yeah so guys let's now head off to the spring to get water come and fetch our water i think you can see but this one is clear this is a spring first we get our water from the spring so you do like this you do like this if i remove a fist top layer you move a fist top layer like this or you can as well even use your hand this the top that then after you get your jerry can slowly you come when the water is settled because sometimes kids come here and they wash their legs from here and all but this water we are fetching here most of the time we use it to bathe and to wash clothes but so you do it like this gently down i don't know if you guys can see it there's fish have you seen it there's a lot of fish down are you seeing so after fetching the water you carry it out okay. we'll first put it here so if you have a cover you cover that the jerry can if you don't have a cover to cover the water because sometimes it might end up splashing on your body so you get your thumb place it here like this very tight and then you put it on the head but me i brought a cover with me so i'm going to use this so that i prevent the water from touching me or from fl flowing on my body then after you if you have a cloth we use this to prevent the jerry can from over pressing your head when you're carrying it so you do like this if you have a cloth you can as well even use the banana fibers to do that but today we don't have banana fibers so i'll use my lesu and then i'll make a satula form of it gently let me know how you call this in your village or anywhere that you're watching this video from but don't forget to subscribe hit that like button for me and click on the notification bell so that every time i post you're the first one to watch my videos so you do it like this send it so it has to be like this then after you place it here on your head like this so this one prevents this jerry can from over pressing your head so you guys i think you can see behind me the spring is here where we get our water so just behind me we have trees but those are palm trees these palm trees are so helpful you can as well even get coconuts that is when they are there and when they are ready so now let's go first. another way on how to use the, you can use the, these trees the palm trees is you can as well get a broom from it and then you sweep your compound that is when they are not green like that you have to use them when they are dry get firewood that you can use at home i think you can see an example is here yeah and then this get this firewood and use it home for cooking food you can do it for you can use it for smoking fish anything at home
carry our jerry cans like this but you have to make sure you balance the jerry can on the head you can as well even put one hand to carry the jerry can like this but most of the time some people use this part it's what they put on their head for support so you have to make sure you balance the jerry can on the head you can as well use the local pots but first we don't use local pots here so most of the time we use jerry can So let's go and wash the dishes. my dishes here and I put them under the sunshine and then they dry before I take them in the house because right now we don't have a utensil stand yeah and the banana leaf can also uh, it can also cover the matoke as you're cooking our local food here it can also help you cover the matoke you can as well use it as a mat it does a lot of things you can put the dishes there let's have first use this uh, as our utensil stand if you don't have a utensil stand you can improvise with anything around the house yeah and then i'll cut this off I just got this from our palm tree right here and I'm going to use it as a broom to sweep the compound. We're using this African broom but we got this African broom from the palm tree and then I got the palm tree leaves. This is what I'm going to use. You make sure they are dry like this. Then you, this one helps you to clean your compound here in Africa.
always take our boats for grazing when we have done all the house chores because very early in the morning the grass still has the dew that morning dew the grass is still wet that is why we can't bring them out it's so so early like around seven six we cannot bring them out that time so after doing your house chores the sun is already out and they the, the dew is already off the grass that is why we bring them out this time so this is where they rest seeing him in almost every video of mine whenever i come home he's my nephew but most of, the time, most of the time i call him my favorite because there's that way we bond he's my brother's <laughs> kid isn't he cute <laughs> tell them to subscribe tell them to subscribe subscribe oh <laughs> so you guys uh we are done with the uh, sweeping the compound and then i've taken the goats out for grazing so we are going, I have to cook for, I think you can see I just woken up and it's very hungry. So I'm going to cook and we are using the outside kitchen. We have our outside kitchen here. I think you can see. We used this yesterday to cook supper. So today I'm going to uh, use it for cooking breakfast for the kids, you guys. This one, uh, if you don't want to use the charcoal stove, if you don't use the charcoal stove, here we always use this. This one is very, very easy. I don't know, but most people say they prefer using the outside kitchen. And the outside kitchen, of course, is this one. Yeah, it is the, you get your stones. These are the stones we use. Yeah, you get your stones, make sure you place them very well. Yeah, and then you make sure you have firewood. Though I haven't put in fire, enough firewood, then you put the firewood like this. Yeah, we call it Jokon in Lugbara. Let me know how you call it your language. Hit that like button for me. Don't forget to give your girl a sweet comment. So after lighting the fire, I had to go ahead and get my saucepan that had water in it and then place it on the fire. The saucepan looks black down because of the effect of the smoke that comes out of the fire. That is why it is black. But inside it, it is clean. And here we use it to cook tea, food each and everything don't forget to give your girl a sweet comment so after putting the tea on fire i had to go ahead 
and wash my hands so that I can collect all the dishes that I had washed earlier. By the time I was collecting the dishes, the tea was also getting ready. So I had to get the dishes before I serve the tea for the kids to take. So, you guys, I think that's it. And right now our tea is ready. So I want to go and eat my nephew some because he's very hungry and I'm also hungry as well. So hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Give your girl a sweet comment. Subscribe, like, share my videos. And you can as well comment just down below the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next video.